Okay, Shalom, 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 Kwami Yasha'ala, Koholo Yimla, Yehovah Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashim, for Kahakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim, Agwath, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yehovah Bashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Just coming at you with another quick lesson and praying that it's edifying by the spirit. Okay. I, I do have to say, uh, Salak, you, you know, for sounding kind of down, I'm trying to pick myself up here. <laughs> you know, hey, you know, so I had to come outside, kind of get a, you know, lesson in. It's just somewhat, somewhat of a rant, but also, you know, just to bring out the scriptures as well. And to also get opinions, you know what I'm saying, to maybe see if I'm wrong. As to what I done or whatever the case may be, you know. Okay, so you know I'm hearing this knocking at the door, and you know I'm you know I'm taking care of my uncle right now. One of my uncles, I know. I don't know if you know. If you've been listening to any of my lessons, you you'll know that you know it's been months now that you know I've been looking out for one of my uncles that um has been down. He can't get up and do things for himself. You know, just keep it short. Okay, so I was making dinner last night for him, you know, because I've been doing it for the past four months or so, you know, just making dinner. Some I've never done before. Shit, I've, I've never cooked as much as I've ever cooked, you know, as these couple of months because it's just me, you know. Shit, I, you know, I can just easily do whatever for myself, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's stew season, chili season, things of that nature. I, I, I do a lot of stuff in the crock pot as far as myself. You know, kind of blend everything up, put it into the crock pot, let it go. Hey, hours later, it's done. That's pretty, <laughs> you know, pretty much my thing. So, you know, but with my uncle, you know, of course, you know, me trying to be cordial, you know, I don't want him to eat the same because I can eat something today and tomorrow, maybe even a third day. <laughs> you know, that's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I can warm some of that. You know, I can eat something. But I'm not one of those picky people that's like, oh, I ate that yesterday. You know, but, you know, trying to just do something different for my uncle every day. You know, I, I make something different. But I put the left, leftovers away and I kind of try and blend it in throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? If I made some vegetables yesterday or the day before, you know, I may put it with, you know, some, you know, whatever. You know how you do that, you know, to keep stuff from going to waste. You know what I'm saying? It's still fresh. I got it frozen or, you know, in a cold pack, so to speak. You know, I may do a... You know, turkey today or chicken today or, you know, whatever. And it's leftovers. I kind of chop it up and blend it up. You know what I'm saying? Where it's not like he's just eating every single thing, you know, eating everything every single day. So, of course, today is Thanksgiving. <laughs> I have my, um, you know, well, my uncle from down the street, he, he lives not too far away. Him and, um, you know, they, they cooked a bunch of holiday stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know the holiday, your, your favorite trimmings as far as holiday wise from, you know, the the pies to the cakes to the, you know, me personally, hey, I told, I got a pizza. That's what I do every Thanksgiving. Every Thanksgiving, I, I got a frozen pizza, cheese pizza. I kind of put a couple of toppings on it myself, whatever I want, or it'll just be cheese, you know? But I'll slide it right off into the oven and I'll make a cheese pizza and people be, you know, kind of bugging out about it. Like, how dare you? You gonna eat pizza on this beautiful day of Thanksgiving. But that's my way of kind of somewhat being rebellious and getting back at them. <laughs> anyway, they come through. They got the, you know, got the food. And, you know, my uncle, he's going through what, what's on the plates, you know, because it's all wrapped up and all that other stuff. I didn't touch anything. They come in with the bags. They done, you know, put some stuff together for them. And then they said ham or pork. I'm like, well, you know, well, yeah, you know, I ain't, you know. Um, you know, I don't want to touch, you know, just go ahead and make him his plate. You know what I'm saying? You can you can do what you want. You can make the plate. You can warm it up, you know, microwave it. Whatever you want to do, you go ahead and make it up and you go ahead and just, you know, serve it to him. He's, you know, in this room, whatever, whatever, because I'm not going to touch the pork. <laughs> you know, and, and maybe I was being overrighteous. But, you know, also I was having this, you know, I, I, I just these holidays, I, I'm not going to. Not going to front. I, I can admit I always have attitudes on holidays and just every day anyway. Not attitudes like, you know, like, you know, like just attitudes, you know, where I'm just going in on everybody. But it's just like this place is so goddamn vexing. So, you know, 
I'm, I'm kicking it with my uncle. He's telling me that, you know, he's 77 years old. And he's never heard of Native Americans being killed for this holiday. Um, so I knew from there was some bullshit. That kind of what kind of threw everything for a loop. I'm like, man, you playing games, bro. You're not saying. And he's from Alabama. I knew he was fucking with me. But you know what I'm saying? He's trying to act as if he don't know about the reason why. I'm about to make my pizza first off. Well, why are you making pizza? We got all this food for y'all. No, I don't want none of your food. I'm not, I'm for damn sure not eating no ham. I'm not touching anything that y'all done put in the bag because I don't know what you done touched on. You might have touched the ham, then cross contaminated with whatever the fuck. Else. No, I don't want, I'm not even touching that shit. So why don't you make Uncle his plate and go ahead and give it to him? I got a pizza that I'm about to put in the oven. You know, they, you know, you know, kind of, yeah, you know, I can see it, you know. I mean, it is what, but that's what I do. So, ah, man. So the food's still sitting there basically right now as, a, as I'm speaking. Someone else is supposed to come through and, and fix up the food. But I'm like, well, why don't you do it before you leave? Why would you just come and drop it off? You should have just, you know, we made some food, you know. Don't come through here and drop off food for two two days. We got, you know, we made a bu in abundance. Look, I'm not touching none of that because I'm making food every day. As a matter of fact, I was just cooking. I was making food. You know, I had some, you know, I had some things going on. You know, it may not necessarily been turkey and dressing, but it was going to be a good meal, which I try and do every day. I normally try, and, you know, I'm making salads. You know what I'm saying? I'm making, you know, I have always have vegetables. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, some type of fibers. But, you know, I, I'm making real nice plates. I'm making real good meals. You know, stuff that I don't even eat myself. Literally. Like, you know, I don't, I don't ever. I can serve. Like, you know, that, that matter of fact, that's one of the things that I, I, I be doing. Like, when people come over, I would serve and do things for them that I would never do for myself. And, that, and, 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 and in some sense, that's somewhat of being a server. You know? I, I make sure that the presentation is right on the plate. Or at least to me. I got everything situated on a plate beautifully. I don't know why I do it. I, Cause shit, I, I'll throw some damn noodles in a bowl and shove them into a microwave for me. But I got everything all situated for everybody else. Seriously. So, you know, I was going to, you know, even I was thinking like, you know, what am I going to do today? Every day I've been f f fucking with my brain about. Well, what am I going to make him today? He had that yesterday. I want to try and do something for him different today. I don't want him to be feeling like, you know, he's eating the same thing every day. Should I break out the grill? Should I? And matter of fact, you know what? It's early enough for me to actually do it. I could. I was going to pull the grill out and just, you know, I had some chicken wings. I had some burgers. I had some some um, some um, some dogs. You know what I'm saying? You know, if whatever's not eating, you know, I normally store it, shove it in the freezer. Pop it, pop it out. It can be microwave, whatever, whatever. I was even thinking about doing that. And now that I'm speaking on it, I might still do it. But anyway, <laughs> you know, I, I had to let him know, like, man, and, and like I said again, am I being overrighteous? So let me get the, uh, what is that? Um, Might be spelling this wrong. I think it's in uh, what is that? Uh, Ecclesiastes seven to sixteen. So lucky. Let me go here real quick and check this out. Oh yeah, yeah. It says, um, "Be not righteous over much." Ecclesiastes seven and sixteen. Be not righteous over much. Neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not over wicked. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? So, you know, I'm thinking like, am I being over righteous by not wanting to like, man, look, I don't even want to see no pork. You know, my uncle, you, you know, they be frying bacon and that shit. It just it, it bothers me. It's like my I can't even take smelling it. So it's like, I, you know, me pick, you know, I could actually pick it up with a uh, um tongues or something or a spoon or a fork you know and 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 not i'm not gonna necessarily i you know i can actually even put on gloves to actually transport it from what you know what they because like it's got to be warmed up you know what i'm saying it's not like it's hot you know what i'm saying so i could actually put on gloves 
grab some tongs, grab it, put it on a plate, and then, you know, but it's the whole thing of looking at it, smelling it, and just, you know, knowing that, you know, in the scriptures that, let me get this, that it's unlawful for, you know, for me to even touch swine, basically. <clears throat> and I, I get it, you know what I'm saying? I know that we're living in, um, you know, um, captivity. I get it. We're not in our own state, so to speak, our own land, so to speak. I get that, you know, but come on, bro. I, I, maybe it's me. Maybe I can get some comments in the, in the comment board and then somebody can say, well, hey, you know what? Yeah, you are being overrighteous. Maybe I am being overrighteous. But me personally, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to warm it up to smell it. I don't want the aroma coming off of it. I don't want the steam of it. I don't want none of that shit entering into my body, you know, smell wise. Because, you know, when you when you're smelling a certain food, you're actually it's going through your nostrils. It's actually entering in, into your body, so to speak. You know, and I get it. You know, we live with people, you know, that 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 don't believe in the truth. I live, you know, you know, with people that don't believe in the truth. You know, I had to get my own. It, it came down actually to me get my own separate pots. I have my own separate pots and pans. You know, now we share a kitchen. I live in another part of the house. You know what I'm saying? As far as like a, you know, a lower part, you know, the lower level of the house. But I got my own things. I actually have a, on my own kitchen in my lower level. But, you know, my uncle, he lives on the upper level and me helping out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even want to touch the pans that's being cooked, that pork, because that's what they do. You know, niggas wake up, you know, they cook their, you know, they're baking their ham and breakfast. And, you know, and, they, and I, you know, I can, you know, smell it going through the vents type of deal. And it fucks with me then. So I know for sure I don't want to be personally up close and personal making damn plates with ham and all this other stuff on it so salakia um leviticus 11 and 7 it says and the swine though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed yet he cheweth not the cud he is unclean to you deuteronomy 14 and 8 goes a little bit further and the swine because it divided the because it divided the hoof Yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you, ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. So, that's my thing. You've been, you know, you've been whipping up bags, you, you done grabbed everything. I don't know what you've done before you brought it here. Um, it could be residue on me unraveling it, unwrapping it. I don't, yeah, but just overall, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to. I don't want to look at no goddamn ham or no pork chop or whatever it is that you, you know, you, you already telling me what it, what it is. You done gave me the menu. I'm like, well, I told him straight up like, well, you know, I, I can't um, mess with that like that. You know, he like, so you're not going to make the plate. I'm like, well, shit, you brought the food in here. I just opened the door. Why don't you make his plate for him then? And if he going to eat that stuff, take it to him. Because. I haven't fed him no pork since I've been, you know, feeding him or making meals since, you know, in the past four months, going on five months. I don't feed him anything like that. He's not said to me, hey, look, you know what, nephew, I I, I, enjoy, I would like to uh, a great pork chop right now. If he was to say that to me, I would have to tell him, well, uncle, you would have to do something else about that. I'm not going to make, you know, I've been making him, you know, healthy meals. That's, that's according to the diet of, you know, the scriptures, man, the Levitical diet. That's what you're going to get out of me if I'm making the food. Now, am I a little bit tired of it? Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Because I never would have thought that, you know, I would be doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so used to just, you know, ah, well, it's just me, man. You know, I can easily make me something real quick for myself. And I don't mind eating the same thing two, three days in a row. I don't care about stuff like that. I can. It's nothing for me to go in and cut up a salad. You know what I'm saying? And make a salad. And, and, and throw uh, uh, a damn turkey drum in the broiler or some or, or, or a turkey wing or um, chicken wing, whatever, you know, that's lawful. It's nothing for me to do that. You know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put the shit in the oven and broil it and let the oven do the, you know, drill off all the, you know, the, the fats, the, the, the um, you know, the blood and, you know, because even being in the truth as far as that goes, I, you know, I even do that. Let's get that. Um.
Exodus 23 and 18, it says, Thou shalt not offer... Let me see. No, that's not what I want. Leviticus 3 and 17. It shall be a perpetual statute for your generations throughout all your dwellings that ye eat neither fat nor blood. That's something that I, that I try and do. Now, I know that I'm not totally capable of, do, you know, doing it to the T of how we used to do it in the ancient days. But I, I normally I boil chicken, I boil turkey, I boil um, especially uh, ground chunk steaks, things like that. You know, like the normal person, they, they would just throw that shit on there. But I'm boiling out and I can see it. I sift out all the blood and the fat or to the best of my ability. I know I'm not getting it all, but you can see all that stuff floating to the top of the pot if you boil it. I always boil all meats because of the blood and the fat part portion of it. And I can see it floating on the top of the pot. So what I do is from there, once I boil it, I put it into a sifter in the, in the, um, the sink. I run, a, you know, I got the, um, the hot water heater up pretty high. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, I can almost cook food from my sink because the, the hot water heater, I got the, the heat set to a point where it will get rid of pretty much all impurities. The, the water is that hot. So I put it under the sifter. I run the water, hot water on it. You know, I, you know, you know I sift it. You know, I'm, I'm splashing it. I'm turning everything over. I, you know, I, you know, until I don't see anything. Now, is everything gone? No, I know everything is not gone. You know what I'm saying? But I try and do the best that I can. And I've been doing that since I came into the truth. Just trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Now, am I over righteous? I, I could be overdoing it with that. But you know what, though? When I'm looking at the news, I'm looking at recall on beef, recall on this, recall on that. And a lot of that stuff that they're recalling it on is, is what's inside the meat. So if you were to boil it, you got a better chance of not contracting that particular disease, you know, salmonella, um, what, uh, E. coli, all these different things that we've been hearing about in the news as far as like these meats. And you might hear about some coming up with, with people with these damn turkey in his ham this season, you know, and then, you know, that shit causes hypertension, high blood pressure, all different types of stuff anyway. So, you know, I mean, like I said, I, you know, I'm just doing a lesson real quick. I'm ranting really. Cause you know they just kind of left. I had to come. <laughs> I had to come come outside real quick. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know they basically like. So you ain't gonna fix the the the, the trimmings for? I'm like, well, shit. I was making food. I'm making. I'm still making food. Then it wasn't gonna be no Thanksgiving food. It was gonna be some you know some regular food. You know what I'm saying? Like you know I had some some stuff in mind already. You know what I'm saying? You know nice, still fresh, healthy meal that wasn't for damn sure not gonna have no pork to it. So now, you know, of course, I can, I don't know. I probably still should just go ahead and make him his food. But, you know, they still, you know, it's nothing I can do about that. They, you know, they still going to eat that food. But the thing of it was, was, you know, they kind of talking to me like, oh, so you're not going. <laughs> no, I'm not going to touch the ham, man. I'm not touching the pork chops, man. I'm not, whatever you, I, if it's, I'm not touching none of that stuff. So the food's still sitting on the, you know, the um, dining room table. Hey, it's, you know, I got my own area in the house anyway. I got my own, I got a house underneath the house, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just chilling in my own area. I got my own kitchen. I got my, and you know, and that's your how about you, man, I was shy. I mean, the house, I got my own living room. I got my own bed. You know, it's, it's just sectioned off like that. But, you know, I still come upstairs to look out for, you know, my uncle and stuff like that since he's been down. You know what I'm saying? So, but I've been trying to look out for him, man, for months, months, months going on like five months now and i was thinking it was going to be over with i'm just thinking i was going to you know only have to do it for like a month you know two three weeks i didn't know it was going to carry on as long as it's carrying on so now it's looking like i'm a a complete caregiver i don't know i don't know how long much longer it's going to carry on but hey you know maybe there's something you how about you man i got me doing and it may not stop so but anyway he got to be fed you know what i'm saying he, he has to eat he has to you know yeah, you know, the whole thing, the whole taking care of, because he can't get up and walk and, you know, do things on his own. So, but anyway, again, you know, just a quick question. Am I being overrighteous?
because I don't want to touch the uh, the Thanksgiving. I went to my hey, you know, because I hey, I ain't gonna even fresh shit. I eat some turkey. I eat some drink. I ain't like I'm, you know, I'm I'm you know being like that. But I normally, like I said, I make me a pizza on um, Thanksgiving every year. I've been doing that for years since I come into this troop. I get a cheese pizza. I toss it into the in the toaster oven, and people be looking at me and be pissed. Like, how dare you? <laughs> Give a fuck. I'm about to do it right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm going to make my cheese pizza. Because I don't have no respect for you not having respect for our ancestors, man. I don't have no respect for for, for, for that shit, man. But anyway, I'm going to end out there. You know, you can leave in the comment boards. Am I being over-righteous or not with that Kwame Ashola?